Okay, in this tutorial I will show you how to make your own textures for Source SDK Hammer Editor. What you're gonna begin with is you take up your Steam folders, go into Steam Apps and then your username. There you will find your games. So you go into Contract Source, if you make the texture for Contract Source, you go into C-Strike, Materials and on Materials, take Create Shortcut. You drag the shortcut to your desktop, you take away this one. Okay, now you go back to this page again, your username. <coughs> you go into Source SDK Content. You go into C Strike Materials SRC. Create shortcut. Drag out the shortcut. Take this one away. Yes. You go back to Source SDK. A bin. Episode one. The episode one is uh, the contract source is running through episode one. So yeah, episode one. And here is the b other bin. And you want to make a shortcut to that pin, okay? Now you should have three folders on your desktop. And okay, there we go. Bin, I'm gonna rename to VTX Materials SRC. I'm gonna rename to Texture Maker. Materials, I'm gonna change name to Texture Folder. Okay, in Texture Maker, you should make a, a map for my textures and also in Texture Folder, my textures. Same name. Okay. And also, uh, if you're making a textures for map, it's easier if you go into my textures and make a new and make a new folder for like the map you're making surf blah 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 and so on so it's easier for you to know where the texture are okay watch okay so this is what GIMPs looks like okay so when you're gonna make start making your texture you take archive new and you take 512 or 512 and 512. This is normal uh, sizes for the textures in Source SDK. Okay, this is how it looks like. It's like Photoshop, but it's free, and it works pretty well. I gotta say. Okay, I'm just gonna pause and make my texture. Okay, this is what I made. Okay, then when you're gonna save it, you go to Archive, Save As, and change the name maybe uh, shoot file type and you want to scroll down to TGA Targa picture TGA press save yes I shouldn't have that but just save okay okay and now uh, I have it here my texture so I'm gonna put it in the texture maker. And put it in my textures. Take it up. Okay. Take this to the side. Take it up VTX folder. Go down until you see both. Oh yeah, you should see it. But uh, yeah, VTX dot exe. You take the TJ file and drag it on top of the VTX. Let it go. Okay. Hit any key to continue. Okay. Now a file, a uh, text file will appear. So what I'm gonna do now is we uh, you, this text will be in the description. It's for uh, the text is for uh, what is it called a transparent spray, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, my textures and the name of the texture. Change name, copy, take it up, paste in, take away, TGA dot. Okay. Now done with. Now we're not on uh, archive. Save as. And take away the TXT and take the VMT. Save. Okay. So there we go. Now we can take this one away. I took away the wrong one and. You can copy this one, the VMT file, copy, back, 
Uh, yeah, take this one away. Uh, take up texture folder, my textures, and as you can see, this file appeared ha here and here. Paste in the VMT. Okay, now we're done with that. Okay, so when you take up uh, your source SDK, you take on browse, you should search, search for the folder this is in, so which is my textures. Okay, and there you go. There you got it. Map made by development tool. Surf mix maps version one. Nice. Okay. Uh, this won't work for other players if you don't use Packrat. It will be black and purple squares because they don't have the texture. So what you need to do is watch the Packrat video. If you don't know what Packrat is, um, well, read the description for the video. And I got a link to GIMP, it's free program to make textures in, in the description. So read the description and thank you for watching this tutorial.